Yo, 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 what up, man? Chris, I'm by checking back in, man. Back with the blog, man. Make sure that like button and subscribe button your way, and I appreciate all the support, man. Back with another van chronicles. I'm not really working today. I'm just chilling. Sometimes I still be in a van even when I'm not working. You know what I'm saying? I'm just headed to this grocery store. This little grocery store right here. And I was like, let me hop in a van, van and shoot this little van chronicle. But um, I wanted to talk about John John Adon and the mayor. I, I see people online. You know, some people are um, complaining. I see John John basically saying people will find uh, negative stuff around anything that's positive so i just wanted to speak on that real quick and um just give y'all a little update on what's really going on with the mayor so obviously when you're a politician you can raise money and when you raise money you got to figure out a way to allocate it so you know you do things like seminars and black voters you know um, initiative and all this kind of stuff so those are the things that he's involved in that he's able to raise money for and when you're giving money or donating money to a particular party of a politician party or whatever, you need to spend that money. You know what I'm saying? You need to spend that money. It's not like you can just keep the money. You're supposed to spend the money to help pe bring in voters and help spread the message of what you got going on. And he just happens to use it in battle rap. And the people that donate to your campaign, it's just tax write-offs. So when you see Chick-fil-A and they donated $100,000 to Donald Trump, a lot of it is like, yo, we support Donald Trump in terms of this is who we this is who we want to vote for. But also, this is a write off for us. This whole hundred thousand dollars and maybe more, we'll just write it off. So it's not really it's a donation, but it's not really money lost. We'll get it at the end of the year. We'll write it off and we need to give away money anyway so we can lower our tax bracket. So when you're dealing with high, high um, financial financially gifted <laughs> people you know what i'm saying with a lot of bread they always figure out a way to pay less taxes and you do that by donating and when you're a politician you can raise money through donations so he just happens to spend it in battle rap and i see people complaining like yo this is another caffeine situation somebody came in the culture gave a lot of money to the culture and it's just being spent in a long you know in a in a uh messed up way like 20 you know giving this money uh, to this person and this person and this person and this person and I, I get it I understand why people feel that way but that's where John John comes in he's the experienced person he's a person that's been around he's been on caffeine he's seen this situation go before and he has to make sure that this could be something that could be like like you know this ain't no just no here thing like this could be around like with the money that's being spent you could actually do a few events and make the money go longer than it may go like we don't actually know how many bullpen events with this mayor there will be or but you can de the kind of money that's being spent you can definitely spread it out so i feel like it's more on john john and then there's you know the other person but um so i think for john john it's important to be like okay how can i do this like how can i i can look at the culture i can see what's going on I saw what's going on with caffeine. I want to help niggas get money. But at the same time, this is this is my advice to John John. And I'm not telling you how to run bullpen. Don't be tweeting me talking about who the fuck is Chris Unbiased. Think he can tell me what to do with my league. I'm not telling you nothing. This is just advice. You take it or leave it. You can not watch the video. Watch the video. In this culture, what's really missing is the people that really put, in, put on for battle rap are not being rewarded. That's one of the big issues in, in battle rap. It used to be a win and move on kind of thing. It used to be, you know, less reward than niggas that's putting on. It's a lot of people in this culture that are not reaping the benefits of their hard work. That's one thing. Another thing is, is it's too many buddy buddy niggas just booking niggas because they cool with niggas and other niggas ain't getting opportunities. So this whole buddy buddy system that's going on, this click ass shit that's going on, is just not good. And the third is politics. So you can't get certain battles due to politics. So John John, you're somebody that knows all of this and you have a middle ground lead. Not RBE, not URL, not involved in no lawsuit and everything. You have a neutral lead. You have relationship with ballers. You you're in a position to where you can reward niggas based on their performance. So one of the reasons why you getting criticism for the event or whatever is because you had an amazing battle with Calico, but a lot of people are talking about how bad Calico was, even though you were great for three rounds. 
Calico was doing interviews saying he was set up in a battle. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got the time limits off, all this kind of stuff. Those kind of discrepancies take away from your battle. That's why I say sometimes you can have a win, but it's not really a good win because you want people to wake up and be like, John John is better than Calico. And I don't know if people woke up today thinking that because of Calico feeling like he got cheated. Now, I always look at it like time limit or not, Calico is going to get his ass whooped. That's the kind of type time I'm on. But Calico just had a battle. Your battle was super close. You also, as a league owner, don't need to book battles that close. Maybe you need to put in your contracts that you can't have a battle for 30 days or whatever and stop booking niggas with all these close-ass battles. So that's one thing. So you have that, and then you got the twerk situation. But twerk gets a battle on a big card like this, but he just choked versus T-Top. So like I said, one of the problems is rewarding niggas. Don't, if you are the league owner and you're John John and you have access to all of this money now to book battles, don't reward niggas that had bad performances. You don't even need to book them. So when you're working on politics as usual, number two, you need to look at the landscape and niggas that fucked up on this league or did bad business on this league or no show this league or choked on this league. Don't turn around and give them a big ass plate on it on your league and then also have the mayor throw in another twenty thousand dollars on a battle and meanwhile you got niggas that really be putting on that never get them opportunities you are you also have the ability to create change with when you got money and power you have the ability cre to create change so if you're looking around you like yo i feel like there's some niggas that's good in this culture that never got opportunities i feel like danny myers never got the the kind of opportunities he got. Chilla Jones never got the opportunity. He got JC, don't get the opportunities. He got this dude, don't get the opportunities. You are booking niggas now. You have power and money, access to you. You can create that change. When you when you got Geechee Gotti and Hitman as your main event, whatever you book after that is going to sell the card regardless because them two niggas are going to sell the card. So if that battle was already in the works and that battle was a possible booking, you got the ability to say, fuck these politics. I'm going, I'm booking Big K and Tay Rock. I'm booking Daylight and Loaded Lux. I'm booking whatever. Like, whatever this culture is, is aiming for, Bill Collector and Big K. I'm booking all of this shit because I know, well, URL ain't going to do it. RBE ain't doing no more pay-per-views. Who else was going to book Hitman and Geechee? It costs too much. I don't think ARP would put the battle in a full circle. ARP could still book the battle. But I don't think he would put that battle in a full circle. And I don't know if Geechee would have went to RBE to do the battle. So all of these things, now there's bullpen and there's ways to get award plates. And there's ways to get ill will plates because ill will wasn't battling on URL. So there was people over there. It's ways to bring K-Shine back. Like, yo, K-Shine, let me let you get this and let me let you get that. Battle this nigga. There's ways to do the Mook and Hitman battle now. There's ways to do all kind of different battles. And... I just don't want to see you keep rewarding niggas that aren't really good. I feel like what Calico did on your card was real disrespectful to keep it real with you because I don't know if y'all niggas watched the battle in the second round, bro. In the fucking second round, at the end of the second round, so John John rapped first, Calico rapped second, John John rapped the top of the top of the second, Calico rapped the bottom of the second. So now we're on to the third round. And Calico goes to, to John John before John John raps and says, yo, you think I can just rap my third round and then, you know, you come after me and then we can just get up out of here. The nigga really wanted to reverse the order. He wanted to rap the bottom of the second round and then the top of the third round just so he can get his shit over with. Bro, this, <laughs> come on, bro. You got niggas throwing this kind of money around in the culture. You cannot have performances like that. You can't minimize the battle and not give a fuck about the battle when niggas are throwing this kind of money around. Nobody will ever respect the mayor, bullpen, anything if they look at the battles and the battles aren't good. So I do feel like you had a good card. I just feel like the kind of money John John probably made that night, he needed to kind of care more. And I don't know if he did because he was complaining about two minute rounds and wanting to reverse the order, which is not even a logical thing that's ever been done in battle rap. So you and to act like you just want to get out of there. It's like, come on, my nigga, niggas throwing away too much money for you to want to get out of there. So you got that. Obviously, Twerk went to the hospital, but that's always an issue too. 
So it's like, okay, now that, now that you're in control of the booking, book all these niggas that really give 110%. You know what I'm saying? I would love to see niggas get opportunities on your platform. I mean, all the way down to even Dre Dennis, bro. All the way down to Dre fucking Dennis at niggas that have put on in this culture that have never got the fucking look that they deserve. And I will be going through the list and doing all kind of shit like that for a lot of people in this culture. And you have the ability, because all you got to do is book a, one or two big battles. You can fucking do a... You can do like a Big K and Bill Collector as an undercard to like a Hitman and Geechee. Bro, any, the other four battles could just be some bullshit. Niggas still gonna buy the pay-per-view. So that's what I mean. As long as you book the URL homeboy, Chess, and this nigga and that nigga, and they don't have good battles, nobody's going to care about everything you did for the culture. You're going to be part of the problem that niggas complain about URL because see what URL did, they were booking a lot of big battles, don't get me wrong, and they did a lot for this culture and still do a lot for this culture. But URL got caught up in views like, oh, you know, we spending this kind of money. We want to make sure we get this kind of views. This person is a ticket seller. So even though Chess wasn't really having a lot of wins versus top tiers and Chess wasn't really was choking in battles, he was still a, a person you can put on on a, on YouTube and he'll get you a million views. So he was still getting great looks on URL and people that were putting on in this culture, the Rum Nitties, the Danny Myers, the this and this and this, they weren't getting the looks Chess was looking was getting it took a while before they got that respect that's because a danny myers youtube video may get three hundred thousand views and a chest would get a million and url needed the, the youtube money to pay for events so that's how the that's how the view getters kept getting booked even if they didn't have good battles you don't look like you need the views because the money ain't really y'all's so if the money ain't really that important or the money is just tax write-off money at the end of the day which is probably what a lot of this shit is then you can just actually book battles based on just this would be a really good battle. I think this would be a really good battle. So now you can go get Misfit and have a battle jazz. You can go get all these battles where niggas are running around talking about they cost too much. You know what I'm saying? You can you can you can do an easy versus this person or whatever. You can do all of these fucking battles and I just hope you spread your wings and it just don't be no I'm just gonna bring some of my URL buddies because now, I don't even know if you really fuck with Big K and some of these other niggas in Battle Rock. You might not want to put no dollars in their pocket, but I feel like you got an opportunity to kind of be like, yo, I might better be the best league in Battle Rap this year. I got the, I, I got access to someone who got access to a budget, and now I can do all of these big-ass battles. Bro, if you brought K-Shine back on your next card or a future card, that would be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm just going to announce K-Shine and Iron Solomon or K-Shine and this nigga. Or whatever, like that would be crazy. So, just my thoughts, and you still have a responsibility. And people gonna always critique everything a nigga do, bro. Nigga could go right now and go buy a Maserati. Nigga, why that nigga bought a Maserati? You know what I'm saying? I heard, I heard the fucking, you know, <laughs> I heard the repair bills on a Maserati is high. Nigga, you ain't paying them. So I don't really feel like, like niggas gonna always complain. You, you need to like don't don't really focus on that, John John. At the end of the day, just be like. Let me just try to, let me try to use the money the right way. You know what I'm saying? Use it the right way and book the right people, bro. And give other niggas some opportunities. I know you're going to fuck with the bullpen niggas. I know you're going to fuck with your homeboys and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You book Arsenal, that nigga spent the whole, <laughs> that nigga spent the second half of the third round dissing your whole league. That nigga said the bullpen is trash. John John only get booked when he book himself or he only a main event when he book himself. The nigga try to tell bullpen niggas to come to U-Dub. I'm just like, yo, this nigga didn't gave y'all the hell of bread. You just shit on his league like that. But um, just my thoughts, man. Chris, I'm biased. Enjoy your Sunday, man. Let me go in this grocery store, man. Holla back.